This is a video to test the upper measurement capabilities of the Gamma Scout dosimeter Geiger counter. We're going to subject the Gamma Scout to a 10 microcurie lab source of C137 ionizing radiation. C137 is the same isotopes that was released in the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster. C137 has a half-life of 30 0.07 years. The 10 microcurie lab source of C137 we are using today is dated October 2009. As you can see from the indication on the Gamma Scout, it is currently reading roughly 0.18 microsieverts. Uh, this is normal background radiation. The source that we're going to subject the Gamma Scout 2 is a small button. It's a lab source. Uh, as stated, it's 10 microcuries of uh, C137. It's dated October As you can see, I'm holding the uh, lab source a uh, fair distance, about uh, 8 inches from the Gamma Scout. Uh, we now have a flashing explanation point in the lower right hand corner uh, indicating an elevated level of radiation. We're currently reading about 43 microsieverts. I'm going to move it in closer. is 110, 140, 200, 500, Seven hundred, one thousand forty-eight. That is above the stated maximum uh, measurement capabilities of the Gamma Scout. We're now at twelve hundred microsieverts. Going to bring it in closer. Sixteen hundred. 2014, So we seem to be topping out around 2,000 microsieverts. Um, that's the same as uh, 2 millisieverts. Um, it's a lot of radiation, uh, but as you can see, <clears throat> the Gamma Scout is capable of reading over 1,000 microsieverts. Thank you for watching the video.